Howdy, 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 y'all. Welcome back or welcome to Fort Destiny, where if you want to know if games where your money belongs, come check it out with Army Mom Strong, even if it's a month late. Again, so sorry. We're back in as far as the eye. Had a lot of fun in the first two chapters. Let's see if we can get at least two more done, maybe one more done. I don't know how long these ones are, if they get bigger and longer. And then we'll jump into the, um, the like, free roam version, if you guys want to. We're going to finish the campaign in this little mini series and then you guys let me know what you want to do to continue on past that we are on chapter three the shapeshifters help croc and kion two ambitious pupils to become experts learn how to gain experience and choose bonuses in the trade wheel and how to feed your pupils build manage improve and repair mobile buildings and discover proximity bonuses visit 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 ancient remains crack and scion await only you to meet their destiny i love that my name's in like every one of these Pupils are metamorphs by nature. As long as they can remember, animal instincts have followed them in all their tasks. Like the center of an eye naturally dilating into the darkness. A pupil's warm... Uh, like... Let's try that again, y'all. Like the center of an eye naturally dilating in the darkness, a pupil forms shifts as if its body instinctively knows the best form to take for the task at hand. Every pupil has... Every pupil has, from their first cycle, taken on the appearance of a red panda. All tribes need to harvest resources. Quickly enough, it's a reassuring and familiar form that shapes their day-to-day -day routine. Some silhouettes are much less habit habitable, habitual and are only worn by the elder pupils or the younger prodigies. Other forms are so rare that no one can say if they really exist. The elders say that these animals evolve, that they have seen them become rarer and rarer before disappearing. Just as they see the birth of new animals, young pupils often speak by the fireside of shapes with long long horns as complex as an oak in the winter. They often mention web-footed batrachians able to breathe underwater. With shadow puppetry, they amuse themselves by showing off the shapes that fulfill their dreams. Okay. Croc has always been a teller of campfire legends. At each meet, the elders see Croc dancing around them, catching every last crumb of each story. Croc wants to become an engineer. Whenever the opportunity presents itself, Croc builds and builds. The status of expert is only achievable with experience. For now, despite having built a great many structures, Croc is still only a little bird. The little bird dreams of the day when it can become a toucan with a majestic beak. Scion, the other pupil of Croc's circle, has the same aspirations in another domain, to become an expert in fruit harvesting and learn the famous candid fruit recipe from the elders. The recipe lets the maker subliminate, subliminate fruits into something much more nutritious nourishing this is a circle filled with hope and ambition select the map to see their journey okay so we are here and we got it's gonna take 120 wood 120 wool and 40 pepkins to get there or big sacred lake oh we can't get there because we have to go here to here oh okay i get it i get it so uh click on the map and select a dotted trip to see your goal so it's like we need to go here 120 wood, 120 wool. For, we already have the pepkins. The pupils will need a raft to take this path. Wood logs and a sail woven out of peep wool. <laughs> should do the trick. The river is long and they should also have some pepkins to avoid starvation. Close the map to start. Got it. Okay, so we need to get all this stuff collected so that we can do the thing. So we have Crake and Scion. So let's tell Crake to start collecting wood. Did we just tell Scion to do that? Uh, oh, yep. No. And we're going to have him. Okay, the caravan is here. The tribe already has a building, a pasture. This building allows for shearing and stock stocking people. This wool can be used for making hangings, warm clothes, or to insulate buildings. Start to complete the objective by assigning Scion to Pepkin Harvesting. Explore the halt with Craig to try to find some wool. Oh, I probably should listen to what it's saying. Okay, so Scion is going to be a Pepkin Harvester. Sorry. My bad. And... Crack is going to explore to find some wool. Okay, so let's do that. Even though Scion is harvesting pepkins, the tribe's stock is running out. Pupils consume food each turn. When there is nothing left to eat, they lose health. When they no longer have any health points, they are called back to the side. You must therefore keep an eye on them and feed them. Pepkins are very resilient fruits that can be found in every region. They are, basis, they are the basis of a good diet, and pupils eat six pepkins per day. Raw pepkins are juicy, but not very nu nourishing. Just as Crake dreams of construction, Scion wishes to make sure everyone in the tribe has enough to eat. This is Scion's trade wheel. Click on it to see Scion's talents. Okay, we're getting into the complicated stuff now. Good stuff. This is a pupil's trade wheel. It represents all the forms a pupil can take. Every harvest cycle, build, or production that a pupil performs will bring from them will bring them experience points in the trade that pr 
they practice. After gaining a certain amount of experience, they gain bonuses or talents that will make them better at that trade. These bonuses only apply when the pupil is working in that specific trade. The central wheel represents the base trade the base trades which will which later specialize into expert trades. Scion already has a lot of experience as a gatherer and already benefits from a few bonuses. Scion requires less food than Craig. For instance, soon Scion will be able to specialize as a fruit gatherer and take on a new appearance. Look at Craig's talents by clicking on their name. Craig has gained experience as a builder even at the center of the eye. Some of the buildings are Craig's originals. Progress as a builder is gained by constructing new buildings. A people with experience in a trade will be more efficient than one none than then nah, then one with ex no experience thanks to their bonuses. Oh my gosh, what is wrong with me? Leave the menu and complete the objective. Okay, so let's get um back to there we go. So we need to Oh no everybody should have something to do. Oh no, you don't have anything to do. Come check this out. Okay, new turn and another turn. And I want you to come here next. You're still collecting, right? Returning resources. Okay, good stuff. Hey, we got some wool. Some peeps. These those these creatures are friendly and willingly let pupils unburden them of their wool. They hate rain and generally hide during a downpour. The pasture is a mobile building. It is far from the peeps and harvesting their wool will take forever. Fortunately, it is a mobile building. It can be moved whenever you like with no additional cost. Click here to repack it. Uh, repack, yes. It's Crack's job to reinstall the building. Open Crack's construction menu. Uh, okay, so, and then right here, and pasture. This halt was, is rather peaceful. There are a lot of resources and many peeps to provide wool. Crack wants to take advantage of this calm to build a new building. This will be of use later on. Since the last halt, Scion has mentioned the need for this installation. Even though Scion has been harvesting without fail since the beginning of the halt, an evolution has not yet come. There is not much left to learn as a gatherer now, and since the last halt, Scion has learnt nothing new. Despite feeling that there must be a way to improve and specialize, Scion lacks a place to truly find personal enrichment. The caravan can only let pupils gain experience in a base trade. Pupils who work from the caravan will stagnate and never evolve to specialize. The people must work in a building linked to their desired trade. To specialize, Scion must work in a harvest hut rather than in the caravan. It's the only way a pupil can gain experience in a higher trade. Build a mobile harvest hut. Crack will be delighted to do so. Okay. So, a mobile harvest hut would probably be... Uh, no, that's a market. Ah, that's a harvest hut. It says right there, harvest hut, too. It needs 70 wood. Uh, hold on. We probably need to put it not on top of the pet. Well, we got more pepkins there. There's a lot there, too, though. Maybe... It's only going to be two to move. I don't want to put it there. Uh, yeah, let's put it here. And what else did we need to do? We needed to unpack that one thing, didn't we? Packed mobile buildings. Did we already unpack it? Do I not remember this? Uh, do we need stone? No, we don't. Okay, so let's get that to work. Maybe we can only do one at a time. And next turn... 45 pepkins, bring it to the caravan, good stuff. You're building, you're going back, getting more. And that is done. Okay, so now, I feel like I was supposed to pack mobile buildings. How do we get the wool? Like, we packed it up, but how do we, like, unpack it? Can I tell... Uh, can you come get wool? I'm not entirely sure, because we're supposed to get... Well, we're, we're supposed to move something closer? I don't feel like we did. And I don't know where that packed building went. That's probably super simple, and I'm missing something. Uh, building in which people is working. Click this select and go to it. Oh, pasture. Okay, repack. Set a hex to prioritize. Uh huh? Wait, I'm so confused right now. Isn't that a harvest hut? Aren't we supposed to tell... Going to work. 
going to work. Aren't we supposed to tell her to... Oh, that is a harvest hut. Okay, so we need him to work here. Or who are we supposed to have work here? Oh, construct a mobile harvest hut. Didn't we do that already? Repack. Set hex to prioritize. Okay, hold on. Let's let a couple of turns go by. Maybe I'm missing something. I feel like I'm missing a step. Oh, I think, don't we need a ride, rhinophilo or something to get a mobile thing done? I feel like that's a thing. Gain multiplier, workers is one, pack animal, wool, pasture. Um, I have 75 turns before the halt is flooded. them do their thing. See, she's supposed to be doing something else, isn't she? I, I think she's supposed to be working in here. Uh, okay, so we need to tell... I guess Crack can go... go. Well, actually, can go right here. You collect that wood, and let's have Scion work as a harvester. I think that's what it said. To get her leveled up. And we need wood anyway. Let's do the next turn. Oh man, we put it too far away. I was thinking that. Man, dude, I feel like I made a huge mistake in where we placed that. But I did that last time too. We're gonna be fine. We got this. We're just doing the campaign thing. So our food is low. We need pepkins again. Uh, so we're gonna have to tell. Let's tell Crack to come collect some pepkins. They're losing health because our food is so low. Eek. We don't even have enough food. To oh, they are losing health. Okay, you also need to come collect pepkins. I wasn't watching. It even warned me to watch, and I didn't watch. Oh, no. Eh, we might not get this one. You can do it. Oh. Okay, we're not, like starving anymore, so that's improvement. Our food is low again. Hmm, there's got to be a better way to do this. Um, let's go to you and let's build a harvest hut. And they will start harvesting. Isn't that what that was? No, that was a pasture. Okay, so if we do a harvest hut, we need 70 wood. Of course we do. I totally derped this one up, y'all. Mistakes, 100% made. Okay, so let's tell you to go get some more wood real quick. Because we need to get that harvest hut up. I thought that's what we were putting there. I'm tempted to start this one over. Well, we'll see how we do. I mean, their health is super craptastic right now, so... Do that. Maybe we can recover. I can't believe I totally skimmed over that. I think it's because my husband started talking and it got me sidetracked. I, these games I have to have silence and focus. And Okay, so that's depleted, but that's fine because now we can build this harvest hut and we're going to put it... Uh, I think right here is pretty central. Because we have some here, we have some here, and we have some there. Yeah, let's put it here. And let's tell... Isn't it Crack that likes to build? Uh, oh, I think I just cleared it. Did I just clear it? Pretty sure I did. Okay, let's do that next turn. He'll automatically go build it. I forgot. I don't have to tell him to build it. Okay. Let's get some more turns done. Assign Scion to the Harvest Hut and complete the objective. Yep, that was totally what we did wrong. I don't know how I managed that one. And let's tell Crack uh, to collect wool. Let's see how that works. Oh, we're running low on food again. Dang it. She should be leveling up now. 
That'll be good. I think we'll collect more food. Sign is finally gained experience. Open the trade wheel. Okay. Uh, gained experience is represented by a blue gauge around the next bonus. When the gauge is filled, the pupil gains a level. Okay. So do we have to... 25 per harvest cycle, 15. So do we click on it? I'm not sure. How do we... How do we get it, or does it automatically happen? Oh, there we go. Scion has gained a first level as a fruit gatherer. Choose one of the two bonuses. This choice is definite. The bonus will only appear when Scion is in the form of a fruit gatherer. It's the first step towards expertise and the famous recipe for candid fruits. A pupil is an expert when they have maximum experience in a higher trade. They can choose one of the two permanent bonuses. These bonuses are special and apply permanently no matter the pupil's current trade. Okay, so you have to pick. 25 per harvest cycle, or 15. What? 25? Oh, that's 25. Like, Let's do the pepkins, because I feel like we're running low on food. Yeah, I feel like that's the best thing for us to do right now. Okay, and we, I thought we had a mobile harvest hut. Do we not? Oh, is that not a mobile harvest hut? Okay, let's go to you and building. Uh, do we not have... What have I done wrong here? Like, I feel like we're missing something. Like, oh, come on, come on. That's a pasture, so I think we need to get, like... Do we bring these to the pasture? Are they in the pasture? Oh, there are some in the pasture. Okay, so how do I get a mobile harvest hut? Uh, I gotta go to crack. Build. Uh, harvest hut. We need a mobile one. So doesn't that mean we have to get like a Renopolo or something to make a mobile one? Uh, oh, I'm trying to remember from the last episode and it's not that easy. I have like zero ability to remember stuff. Okay. Let's unlock some more squares, I think. Get him to drop that off first. And then let's tell you to come over here while she's doing the food. And let's tell you to go over here. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we had to get a ride off below. Like, caravan, set a hex to priority. Oh, no, 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 that's not what I want. Pepkin, wood, and pack animal. I am a struggling. So that's a harvest hut. How do we make a mobile harvest hut? Let's see. Packed mobile buildings. There's nothing in there. Is there? I mean... Uh, let's start harvesting. That's not... Market. Harvest hut. Sawmill. Oh, wow. How did I get a pack? I don't know. Maybe... It, I don't... I got nothing, y'all. I got nothing. I don't know what we're supposed to do. I'm gonna have to do this one over. Because the struggle is real. Yeah, I... I cannot remember, for the life of me, how to do a mobile hut. Like, I thought you had to have, like, a Ranopolo, or whatever that's called. But I don't see... Maybe we just need to collect what we're supposed to collect. Uh, let's send you right here and tell you to collect logs. And then we still need some more wool. Doing good on food right now. Uh, we have... 36 turns left. Can you come collect wool for a minute? And then I'll let you go back to the food. I feel like somebody needs to start collecting the wool. Oh, and then you gotta go all the way down there because I put it in the wrong darn spot. Yeah, I know. I totally chirped that up. Uh, our food is getting low again. So once she gets back, we're gonna have to put her back on food. Oh, now she's taking damage. Crap. Crap. Uh, you. Just for now. Go do that. Oh, no! Oh, we totally... Yep, that's what happens when you, uh... 
Oh, man. A poncho drifts slowly to the floor as the pupil is disp dispersed by the breeze. The story is already written, and this was not their destiny. They were meant to reach the eye at the end of this cycle. Open the way. Restart the chapter and save them all. <laughs> See you on the next episode. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share. And as always, before I go, remember, when gaming, have fun, play hard, but in real life, be the change you wish to see in the world. Later, y'all.